Hi guys, I'm Nagadeptim and welcome to my live reaction for One Piece <clears throat> Chapter 870 and 871 and 870 is farewell Farewell my friend I just wonder what is it about and in front front piece we have Bartolomeo in the town when he arrived he's standing on some really big guy like he defeated him he has a knife in a hand the guy is pretty bloody beaten there is some houses burning in the background like seriously Barto what did you done what have you done and there are some guys, but they don't look like citizens. One have a gun, there are probably some others who has guns in the background. One is like waving with a white flag, but you know, Barton simply look like they have suits and coats. They look kind of like mafia guys. Vega, is that like kind of some kind of your, I don't know, friends? But Barta looks pretty impressive and it's a dropping in on the lies of the Grand Straw Hat Pirate Fleet Volume 7 Bartolomeo Arc First I'll eyes the bad is scared and his part Oh he like the guy probably tried to hit him with a how was it some kind of bed with spikes of How's it called? Uh, I can't remember. But it's broken because Barta probably used his barrier fruit. <laughs> wow, it's cool. The thing burning in the background, like how that in the hell just happened? Seriously. Seriously, how that how that happened? But if I remember correctly last time Bagger turned into freaking castle and wasn't able to escape because the guy used um Rarospero or uh, some weird guy used something to stick him to the ground and Darktooth Ka Katakuri I used Mochi so they couldn't like shoot from cannons and Big Mam actually woken up from her screech mode and started to beat the fuck out of Bega. She was very pissed, so I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> Big Mama is pissed, and that's not good. Get out here, Bega, straw hat. Wait, wait, Mama, it's me. Oh, it's the Lola sister. Get, uh, she's like, uh, there is a window, it's opening and she's in it. Vega is my husband. We have a job to. Please forgive this. Overlook it. Shiffen, as always, you're just like that bloody Lola. I thought I told you not to show me that ugly face and she just wasted that freaking tower. It's broken? <laughs> I love the castle Vega face like, oh. <laughs> wow, that must hurt a lot, I guess. He's like, oh shit, she is hitting me with all she has. Oh, she finally like crying, Mama. So you are in Arkham Place in this stinking ass, 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 not ass, stinking assassination plot, too, huh? You know, at least put that. You know, something that I would know that it's not ass, but assassination, please. Please, at least. Don't you don't think you'll leave to eat breakfast tomorrow? Wow, she's really pissed. And that castle is like... It looks like the castle is twice as huge as Big Man. That, that's something. If the castle is broken and Bega is killed. We will all be thrown out of here. The big man screw talking. 
Don't let a single one of them make it out here. Not the fighting pirates, not the straw hats, not Jim Bag, and not the Germa 6 6. Well, they're really devoted to kill them all. And we have the like three, bi big three of the Meg Men. They marked up both the tea party and the wedding. Katakuri. And Smoothie. Looks like we've been a bit underestimated. Let's string them up for the world to see. A big mom is still punching the castle bug in the face. Yeah, he's rolling on the ground, all bloody and in pain. That's not good. Beggar, damn it, that all of heck. And to think that even cannons can face me. It's like big father's defense capabilities don't even exist. Well, if you would know how strong she was when she was kid, you would probably shit your pants. Like seriously, even though high high pros for a castle, because if he wouldn't be a castle man, he would probably be dead right now. Like there's a lot of blood on him, but still castle is still standing, at least. I'm gonna just go out there and beat them all to a pulp. Come on, Luffy. No, Luffy, stop him, Chopper. <laughs> yeah, Nami. Nami is using her brain, even though that's... Like... Okay, no, Luffy, that, that's a stupid idea. <laughs> Alright, let him go! Stop picking fights. We came here to save Sanji, remember? <laughs> I love that Chopper is using, I guess, his arm point and, like, restraining Luffy. He's like, get me out! We've got our pawling leaf rubbing, too. Yeah, that's proof for you. We also succeeded in our plan to save Sanji's family. We've done what we came here to do, so it's probably time to get out right now. Yeah, Judge really doesn't look very pleased. He's like, Ugh, I don't like this. I was saved. I don't like this. And we are still in a kind of shitty situation. I don't like this. Bros are like, well, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, Sanji has serious face. If you've got time to fight with them, then you've got time to help us come up with a way to get out of here. Still Nami. If we were here to fight, we would have brought Zoro and the others too. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, Zoro is probably way more stronger than Na Nami, Chopper and... Carrot. Yeah, actually Zoro is like, for me, I think Zoro is like the second strongest on the Straw Hat crew. Sanji is like slightly below him. Well, now it looks like he's way down below him, but I think Sanji would have some power up, so like he would be just slightly above him. I mean, Zoro is a freaking monster. Like... Is the second one who joined Straw Hat crew and we always knew that Luffy is like fucking beast and Rorona Zoro is too. From Sanji I don't have this kind of feeling. Like he's a nice man, yeah he's very strong but the monster no. I don't have that feeling like even though Sanji is sometimes like oh my god he's super awesome strong. It was never like, oh my god, Zoro, he is scary, or Luffy, when he gets, when Luffy gets serious, it's extremely scary. Luffy's name is right. The only reason we were able to infiltrate this far is because of how few people we have. A brook for you. Let's all go to the Wano country safely, where Zoro's waiting for us. With law, and I hope all of them are in good shape. Oh, Siphon is crying, beggar. He's still on the floor in pain, coughing blood. And his little boy is crying too. But look, beggar's... Okay, fine, so what do we do? He's eating attacks that are meant for us too. Yeah. Damn it. I'm at pieces over here and I won't let you lot be the only ones making it big. Beggar, what is your plan? I don't like it. Please don't sacrifice you <laughs> sacrifice yourself. Wait, just a second, Beggar. No going down with the ship nonsense or anything on that sort, okay? Yeah, Brooke and like Um Caesar. Plus I did what I promised I would. Give me back my hurt right now. 
Yeah. <laughs> Beggar, please don't rise your dead flag seriously. Down with the ship. Not a bad idea. Honestly, I never gave a shit what happened to you lot. Not from the beginning. Beginning. But my dear subordinates are here and my beloved wife and son. And I won't let them die. Oh, Shifan is like crying and hug the guys too. My dear father. <laughs> Even Veto is crying. That's so creepy. <laughs> oh my god, Vega, please don't. Oh my god. What does she know? But you know, there's a, there's a father for you. He's the man. There's only one way that all of us will make it out of here with our heads still on our shoulders. So you're planning to survive or not? This room is definitely inside me, but no matter how I toss or tumble, this room won't move an inch. And that will stay true even if I turn back into a regular flesh and blood human. Oh shit, listen up. With you lot still inside me, I'll turn back into a human. And then Caesar will grab me and fly us all out of here. Okay, that, that's an interesting plan. Oh, 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 quit putting my life on the line whenever you feel like it, damn it. What are you asking me to do is suicide, damn it. Well, yeah, because probably Caesar would be the most vulnerable out here. They'll turn me into a honeycomb the moment, the moment they see me. There's about a zero chance that hair-brained plan will ever work that hair-brained hair-brained whatever most of them can use busa shoku haki too gods or not they'll get me oh wow caesar is well aware of things oh we have a judge and such talk answer me one thing sanji why did he save me we fell into their trap Hook, line, and sinker. That have been the end of your hated enemies, no? My boss would have liked it. Oh, But, wow. <laughs> Sanji's, Sanji's look is like, Well, maybe I saved you, but I still hate you. Like, I wouldn't... <laughs> really, I want, you pu I want to punch you in the face, even though I'm not using my hands usually when fighting. Fixated on the begone grudges of my childhood days. Wow. Let me get let me out, please. Father, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I was born to be. Save me, father, please save me, father. Wow. Sanji has very serious face. He'd have been shocked at how small a man I'd become. If he saw me laugh at the death of my own blood. I won't live in a way that won't let me look him in the eye. Oh, he's talking about Zeph, his adopted father. I refuse. I ran away from the Germa 13 years ago. Windsmoke Sanji died at sea, and that's what you wanted. Wow. I mean, yeah, like, even though Sanji held some kind of grudges and he hates Judge, like, it wouldn't be him. He's a nice person inside and, like, just standing there and watching his family dying, Reiju especially would be extremely cruel and I'm sure Luffy wouldn't like it. Don't you dare tell a soul that I'm your father. You're a stain on my name. So... Admit it. Tell me you're not my father, Windsmoke Judge. Wow, he's like holding him by his clothes and speaking like from above to him. Judge is kneeling? Holy shit. And don't you dare show your face to us again. Wow. I understand now. I swear. I swear to never again approach either you or East Blue. Wow. He understand it. Well, probably Judge is not as douchey as I thought. He understands the situation pretty clearly. Oh, <laughs> just went like, ah, oh, great. 
I've done my mission, damn it. This stuff wasn't in the job description. <laughs> Poor Caesar over there. Poor Caesar. He's throwing here and there and he just still can't escape. At his there, at his rate, you'll die too, Caesar. Open the gate. Oh, it's the church, gangbagger. Until you escape into the sky with Caesar Clown, we of the Germa 66 will provide you with our protection. Um, guys? Didn't we just almost die a few seconds ago? Uh, like, um, I don't know. And who the hell are you to tell me what to do? You never get all that high horrors of yours, do ya, Judge? I'm so pissed. Oh, that's right, huh? The Germa can fly too. Can I? Oh, the Ah, oh, probably. I trust. Then you'll be fine with us leaving you here. Indeed. Right. I'll help them buy time too. No, Luffy, that stupid idea. We need you with us. We don't need to be indebted to a failure. Well, you are saying it like this, but you're kind of low life, son. Just save your life. So, like. You're keeping it cool, I know, Judge. Like, you're kind of tender, aren't you? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's their way of dealing with things. Yeah, this, like, we don't need to be indebted to failure. <laughs> that sounds very tenderish, but maybe he means it that way. I don't, I, I don't know. Wait, just a bloody second, damn it. I still haven't said I'm doing this, you idiots. <laughs> Shut up. Squeezing his heart. Vega, you're such. You are such a badass. <laughs> I'll never forgive you for this. Poor Caesar, like running where he's supposed to be. Oh wow, that was quick. It just turned to be human, and some people popped out, like Caesar and uh, Germa 66. Big Mom is freaking huge right now. When we see her, only very small. When the castle was there. He has dispelled his castle form. He has dispelled his castle form. <laughs> well, who, who, who. The big man's family members are so happy about it and they're shooting at him. They're aiming for us already. For a Caesar was crying. Oh my god, a Caesar. Wow, they're shooting is like crazy because they shoot at one spot many times. Uh, Caesar is crying like a hell because he thought he would be shot, but the brothers, the Windsmoke brothers, saved him. Move it. So you've come out to play, huh? Heavenly fire. Oh, the sun. Wow. <laughs> and Caesar is just like grabbing poor bacon and running out of, out of there. Oh, Rage is in flames? Rage you. Farkas need you. What? What the hell is this? The weak have no one to blame but themselves. Complete the mission at all costs. What? Wait. This is the Yonji? Or it's Reiji? That's not very cute of you, brother. I'm fine. I won't get done in so easily. As the other brother talking, I'm kind of confused right now. Move, I won't let a single one of them escape. You'll be the first to go, little Germa girl. Oh, so she's aiming at Reiji and the... Oh my god, the Niji was concerned? But it is just like concentrate on a mission. <laughs> ah, it's Luffy. The Luffy and Sanji are getting out of Vega with Gum Gum No and Diablo Jamba. Elephant Gun Strike. Wow, they did a combo against the Sun, or was it Cloud? It was Sun, and they saved Raju. Thought you said not to go out. Yeah, I was talking to you, not to myself. Not fair. <laughs> nice talk. <laughs> yeah, like, since you well, I was talking to you, not to myself. I was definitely going to save my sister. 
They went out. What the hell are they doing, those idiots? <laughs> now me Chopper and Brooke are crying. There are not the kind of people that can just sit on the sidelines. Yep, they're not. Definitely not. Well, this chapter was rather quick. Extremely quick and more like exposition, you know. Uh, not much interesting things happened, you know. Well, like I said, more about exposition, what's going to happen, you know, these kind of things. I love the talk between George and Sanji, that was very powerful. And in the end, Bega at least got a plan, which, like, I was thinking that he's going to die, but who at least no. Because, like, seriously, Bega, don't even think about it. And the Germa with Zero get out. But in the end, Reiju was attacked, so Sanji and Luffy went to hell. Nice combo, though. Really nice combo. And Big Mom is pretty pissed, though. <sighs> like, seriously. Seriously. Big Mom is a beast. So. This chapter was like 7 out of a 10, not so impressive, but still good, like, you know, still good. And I hope they will escape, that their escape plan is good, but still I'm kind of concerned about Germa, like, they were almost killed and they are getting out immediately, like, guys, please, stop doing this to me, like, seriously. Oh my holly. Sheep, seriously, this is good. I mean, there are so much things like even if they would escape, there is still Tamate Bako, and I'm sure this would probably has a huge impact for the Straw Hats. Like there is that big news, guys. So that would be problematic because he's seen this. So Straw Hats could, they would have even bigger name. They have. Basically, like, if you try to fight with Yonko and you escaped and survived, I think, like, people would think very, like, nicely about, like, holy hell, he tried to fight with big man and he escaped and survived? Like, holy fucking shit. Straws are awesome. <laughs> and, like, they are going to one or they would met Kaido there, like, dude, straws are crazy. So yeah, I think that would be, I really want to see what would happen. Also, I think there is that world government of reverie meeting, or how is it called, where is it, Marijo, reverie, where is it, help, I don't remember, shit, uh, you know, all the kingdoms of the world government, they would have meetings, so I can't wait because Vivi would be there, so, oh my god, we haven't seen her for a very long time, just, I don't know, that was one chapter when she was, like, for a moment there, because this event was mentioned. I want to see her so much, because I just love her, she's amazing. And this thing, like, I can't wait, like, there's so many things happening right now, and I can't wait for Wano Kuni, because Samurais and Ninjas, and who knows what kind of shit would be there. And I kind of miss Zoro and Law, like, very miss them. So I think that's all for this chapter. It was amazing. Really, really good. So chapter one hundred, eight hundred, <laughs> eight hundred seventy one, go Caesar. So yeah, Caesar really, really need to be very fast and front piece. But what? What is Bart doing? Like he's still in town. There is that a uh, burned house still. The guys looks not very happy about him. And he's like giving him some what straw hat props? Are you serious? Well, 
Volume 8, Bartholomew Arc, selling straw hat stickers. Oh my god, he's promoting Luffy. <laughs> oh, Bart, come on. Come on. They really don't look very pleased about it. <laughs> I was like, buy this. Buy this straw hat sticker. You know, buy this. Straw hats are amazing. And like, guy has like, I don't know, many of straw hat skull Jolly Roger stickers in his hands or what the hell is that? Oh my god, he's promoting Luffy's oh, He's promoting Luffy's crew, that's so cute <laughs> And he's so happy about it Oh my god Bart, you're such a fun boy I love you So, with the actual chapter Just make it over Caesar holds the crew's hopes and dreams Literally That's all I'm thinking about, damn it Yeah, he's escaping like seriously fucking fast a uh, while Germa is fighting with the uh, Shiloh family if we can make it over the wall we are home free to the other side <laughs> yeah but still Perorin can well just right before them well that's it this is the end farewell cruel world <laughs> oh my god Caesar Oh, the Germa are attacking. They are doing like some kind of combo. All three brothers, Black Bart. Well, they are destroying the candy wall and making way for the uh, Caesar holding poor Bega. We did it. He's through the candy wall. Atta boys, Germa. Go, Caesar. You are still scamming, though. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Wita is like fan of Garma, so out of boys Garma, oh yeah, super <laughs> Strats are glad too, like I mean I would be glad too if I would be escaping from Big Man. Perospor is like how am I licking his lollipop looking all creepy. It's not time to go up to these pearly gates yet. If I make it over that wall I'm free man. Um Caesar stop talking like this probably something bad will happen if you wouldn't be talking like this oh, and we have the guy who like um, tried to steal tomato baku but uh, he tripped or big man shock wave screech just knocked him down and like it fell down so he's looking at it the treasure of the seafloor the tomato baku even though I can't see it why in the world did it had to fall to such an inconvenient location? Should I just jump down? Oh wait, it's like when we have a cake and it's like more floors? Decks? I don't know how to call it in the cake. Uh, it's like on the upper one. No, lower one. It's pretty high. Like, big difference. Oh, some chick appeared. And what are you going to do with the tomato baka default? Oh, it's Tusi. So you were watching me. Oh, he fell down. Oh, well, I landed where I wanted to. No time to look inside this thing. Uh, you just don't want to do that. There is a bomb inside. I like Tusi. She's like, mm, idiot. Just how valuable. just shoot him with a shigan Fla to see who the hell you actually are because shigan those things are like only for mara marines marines and CP I have never seen a you know pirate doing it well well she's a secret agent I don't think so. The world government will be taking the time at the back of my damn dead friend. Still, even the world government wouldn't like to open it. But we'll have you take the blame and the fall, of course. She's such a bitch. And, wow, Queen of the Pleasure Quarter, CP Egg is zero. 
intelligent operative Stussy or Stussy I don't know how how, how to like Tussie, wow, wow, I was like, wait, she shoot him and then like it was she again, I was like, wait a minute, wow, so she's secret agent, <laughs> holy moly, that's not good, because even like, she probably would do very nice talk about straw hats to the world government, so, I guess they're posters, of... Oh, I guess the reward, reward would be way more higher. Okay, at least that's the sort of article you will do me the favor of writing, right, Morgan's? Oh, he saw it, but she knew about him. He's like, damn it! Oh, so the Morgan's is going to write some articles, but in kind of different way than uh, the truth is. Fine, but at least. Let me get a scoop on the contents of the thing. Oh no 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 don't even try. Sure, if all you are going to take are pictures. What a shrewd man. I guess it's to be expected of an information manipulator like yourself. I'm a newsman. I'll see you over the difference. Oh my god, these two are kind of funny. Wow. Wow, so he knew that he now he knows that she's from government, but he's definitely not going to tell anybody because he would be dead. And probably, I think they need him because he's providing the news. So uh, she's not going to kill him. But the guy's still alive, kind of. She missed. <laughs> Woman, how could you miss your assassin? Get her shit together. Yeah, Morgan's down there like, huh? She's like, oh. Oh. No, he just... He just drew... Throw it somewhere. No, he only le He was dead. He probably like... His dead body... Was leaning on it and Tomate Beko fell down even more. You told me back on Fishman Island, didn't you, Straw Hat? You built all of beat you up, was it? And on this island, I'll be the one that wins in the end, right? And you still want to run spineless? I stop doing this, Mama. You, you, you probably like get him mad. Don't take the bait, Luffy. She's trying to get a rise out of you. <laughs> I love like Sanji's holding him and running away. And Luffy's like, Spino? I even don't understand <laughs> what she was trying to say. Just one punch. Oi, oh, Luffy. None of what I said was mistaken, big man. The one that will be pirate king in the end isn't you. Oh, wow. Holy hell. He just pulled out his for fourth gear out of nowhere. She looks excited. It's me. Wow, and he like hit her with her hand, but she used hockey. Wow. And the guys are feeling the impact. The guys are around. After I take down Kaido, we are next, big man. Wow. Luffy's serious face is really scary. Hurry, Luffy. I'm losing power. Kaido. Ma 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 ma. Your lord will never take down that thing. Like I said, who said you little shits could even dream of getting out of my territory? She's running. Oh my gosh, she's running toward them. That looks scary. Uh, I would probably shit my pants if this thing would be running for me. Yeah, they're trying to run even faster, but... Yeah, Reiju and Sanji, like... They're ju she's just right behind them. Always judge. Our dreams are dust. What am I to say to the ghosts that have not even learned to step food on after those six, six short days of hope? 
What are you trying to say? He hit her in the face? With a spear or what happened? We entrusted you with the 300 year old desires of chagrin of our people. Curse you, foul villain. Judge, have no fear, die in peace. I'll make sure to use your scientific powers. Oh no, um, it was trying to hit her with a spear in the face, but she just stopped it with her teeth or something. To make this world a peaceful place. And she's, uh, she's holding the cloud. And uh, I guess she's going to use some electric powers and Judge is going to fry to nice crisp. Thunderbolt, yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. It just got hit with a thun not thunder lightning. Judge, I'm not, I'm not sure he would survive this. Father. Yeah, his helmet is broken. Dead. It's Yonji. Yeah, I was always thinking. I think it's Yonji. Yeah, it looks like. That Yonji has more, like, feelings than his previous brothers. Well, if we are not talking about Sanji. Like, Ichiji or Niji, that he's, he's very similar to Sanji. Because he kind of feels like his other brothers... I'm not sure if they are even giving a fuck. Maybe they are. I don't know. Like, do they have some kind of order to, like, help him? I don't know. I beg up. We are. What do you think you're going? Are you not just gonna abandon. Matter of fact. <laughs> Caesar. I think somebody should tell you that if you are running. You should look, not behind you, but in front of you, because right now he just bumped in fucking Katakuri. Man, you're dead. Almost. You were just one step away. And Katakuri looks very pissed. Sparking feature. Oh, it's one of the brothers attacking him. Well, we just rape him apart, but I it doesn't matter because he's devil fruit user but at least it's like oh uh, yeah they're fighting together though one of the wind smokes brothers with katakuri and scissor can escape so quickly wow still running away all right here we go go scissor we are still trashed though <laughs> nami i'm not sure if your cheering is helping him oh no what the hell? It just clashed with his mirror image. Oh fuck, it's a brulette. I'd move it, bastard. Who the hell do you think you are? Me? You can't mean me. It's me, Caesar Clan. I've got a mountain of bones to pick with you lot. Br brulette. This is bad, Caesar. Yeah, like, there are so many people around and trying to stop them, kill them, whatever. Like, how many times he would like be stopped by someone and saved by someone? Like seriously, Caesar, get your shit together. Yeah, like he's surrounded. There is freaking Katakuri and other Charlotte family members. One of the brothers, I don't know which one, if Niji or Ichiji just got wrecked by Katakuri basically. And others too. Holy shit. What the fuck? Those, oh, that uh, guy with the genie and a smoothie like got Reiju and Sanji and Luffy is like lying on them they're all of them are lying on the ground they got caught by some sweet thing or something and they can't move Luffy is lying there because he can't move because of his freaking fart gear <laughs> stupid that was stupid Luffy um, this looks creepy, like, Judge is lying on on the ground, probably, whatever, maybe dead, and, like, Big Mom is holding, uh, I think, Niji, Ichiji, and Yonji in hands, 
They look like broken toys. This is so creepy and fucked. That's so fucked up. And she's smiling. Oh, look at what new toys I have. I'm so happy to break them. <sighs> They're all down. This is the end, I guess. Let's get out there and fight. It's better when Jim back. Yeah, I'll go too. At this rate, we'll all be killed for sure. Shall we begin with the execution? No, big man, don't even try. Oh, oh, it's the time for Tama Tobacco. <laughs> I love the face of news, big news. It's like, ah, well, this is bad because it's falling, falling, and it fell to the ground. It shattered, the bomb just fell off, and a bomb. Out of the cake, or yeah, the cake got shattered. Earthquake gun, I guess. And Big Mom is like, huh? The castle collapsed? Yes, or like, well, Straw Heads now have a chance when Big Mom is caught, you know, by surprised by this huge explosion to escape please please escape you have a chance because they're surprised holy hell this was kind of freaking like they were trying to escape so many times and there were so many people in so many people tried to save them and holy hell this was intense chapter oh my god uh eight out of them, I guess. But I picture when she's holding the wind smoke, it's so creepy. Oh my god, so creepy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Luffy's such a dumb ass. Like, seriously, why did you do that gear? It was useless and you just waste your energy. Come on, Luffy. Even though it was kind of cool, it was still stupid. Sanji, you should, like, Luffy, that was so stupid. Even though, like, Big Mam is caught off. Surprised. I'm not sure, like, if how much use of use it would be because she's very dangerous. Oh my god, like, Oda, please stop with your fucking spins and twists. Like, this chapter had so many twists, like, Oh, we are going, we are going to be free. Um, no. Yeah, he saved us, we are going to be free. No. He saved us. No. Like, seriously, Oda. Seriously, like, what are you trying to do to me? Stop, please. This was one of the most twisty chapter I, like, remember in One Piece. That was crazy. So, yeah. Good, crazy, and good. 8 out of 10, I said. I think I said 8 out of 10. It was good. So, I'm lo very looking forward to the next chapter. I just can't wait what would happen next. Like, all of them need to be saved for real. Like, no one can die. Like, no one. Seriously, no one, or I would be pissed. And it doesn't matter if it is Judge or Peggy or whatever, I like them all. Like, without them, even the Judge is kind of douche, like, seriously, big douche, like, he's needed. He's needed for the story, you know. I hope they would, like, appear more in the future, probably, maybe, who knows, even though I just, like, said, well, you will never see my face, but it doesn't mean that... I wouldn't do anything in the background, you know, like from shadow. So I hope all of them will survive. And the judge was just struck by a lightning. So I think that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.